Good morning. Today is March 30th. Um, and I just want to get on here because four years ago today, I was sitting in a waiting room at Emory waiting to have um, surgery, my double mastectomy and reconstruction. Um, I was supposed to go in at like eight o'clock that morning. I, I had to be there at 7 a.m. and um, at noon, I was still waiting because they were behind. And so my anxiety just went through the roof. Um, and many of you know that I do not sit very long well anyway. So um, just thinking this, this last couple of weeks, having to like stay inside or stay at home has been difficult because I like to at least be able to get out and um, thankfully, I have a place, you know, a few places that I can go and walk and get outside and enjoy nature. And um, so I wanted to get on here and praise God for waking up this morning because, you know, um, I today, March 30th, 2020, I am four years cancer free. Um, that is huge. That is like... I don't even know because March is always a hard month. Um, it's my cancer diagnosis. It always brings up, um, you know, some brings on some depression and, and, and anxiety and all just because the thoughts um, come back. I mean, I can still remember that day like it's nothing. I still remember coming off the table like when they were trying to stick me three, four times to get the IV in, and I thought my mother was going to <laughs> attack the nurse, but um, Connor and my mother were in there with me, and I thought they were they were going to, you know, it was, it was. I look back on it, and I can laugh at it. There are there are many things that I can look back on now that were anxiety driven then, but um, I can look back and just praise God that He brought me through it. Um, so, but I want to, I want to get, I wanted to get on here and thank everybody, all those that have followed my journey and um, have commented and prayed for me through the years, um, through all my, um, I guess, you know, I've had so many different things that have gone on over the last couple of years, um, surgeries and and scans and I did have chemo, but you know, as of today, I am four years cancer free. That's huge. Cancer does not stop because we're isolating. Um, and, I, and I want everybody to realize that because today I am actually um, delivering one of my kangaroo shirts, um, which has the pockets in um, sewn inside. I'm, I'm delivering one of those to somebody who's having cancer surgery tomorrow, breast cancer surgery tomorrow. And it it's not stopping just because we're isolating. And um, so I, I want everybody to, to think about, you know, stay home, take care of yourselves. Um, we lost somebody who is huge in our community, family, friend. Um, it doesn't matter how old you are either um, for this virus, um, it's going to, you know, affect all of us. Um, but also keep in mind and pray for those that have cancer and that, um, may be being diagnosed right now today, um, or be having surgery, um, because we don't need to, we can't isolate from it. And so just be reminded of all those that are going through other things other than just the virus, but let's stay at home. And if you need to get outside, go and walk. Um, don't, go, don't go to Walmart, don't go to Lowe's just because you have projects to do. It's been packed here in Dalton, it's crazy. Um, stay safe. Get outside, look up at the sky, the clouds. Um, 
against the blue sky and the green, do some, you know, meditation. Um, you know, I love to get outside and I kind of ground myself from my anxiety when I just can't sit anymore. Um, or, you know, I still get depressed um, um, thinking about things sometimes. I think we all do. And I try to get outside and I notice things like the green leaves against the blue sky. And I focus in on that. Um, you know, focus in on the birds singing or at night, the crickets chirping. Um, find something that helps you be able to focus and just kind of chill a little bit. Um, I enjoy just sitting outside, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, doing some schoolwork, still working on my MSW, and um, I just want—I I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all those that have supported me and loved me through my journey the last four years. And here is to many more years of survivorship. Love you guys. Have a great day.